Hello everybody, welcome to my channel today. So it has been a little bit of time since my last video and I'm so sorry. Um, I do have a reason, it's not a bad reason. It's, um, if you're new to my channel, I used to be very, very into fitness. I actually was a fitness competitor and I was just totally burned out. So about a year and a half ago, I quit all fitness Totally, I didn't do anything, quit the gym, quit all exercise. And about a month ago, I finally decided it was time to go back and I decided this time I was going to try yoga. So I joined a yoga studio, which I am loving, but it is hot yoga. So that doesn't lend itself very well to wearing makeup. So pretty much this entire month, I have barely worn makeup and I just haven't even bothered attempting to do my hair. At the beginning, I was doing tinted moisturizers and a little bit of mascara, and then after a while, I just like, that's enough because it's just melted off and I'm just like a drowned rat when I complete my class. And same with my hair, it was just wet and I just gave up on blow drying it straight. So I haven't really been looking like I should be filming anything. Um, so that's part of the reason, and for me, I have a hard time with doing things half measure. I, I need to work on it, but at my age, I'm close to, well, I'm almost 48 this year, and I have always been an all or nothing person. I can never do 80%, 70%. It's always 100% or nothing. So what that means is I have been going almost every day that I possibly can. And if I haven't been going, it's because of another reason. We've had a very busy month. We had Easter and then we had three birthday celebrations and my grandchildren came down. My um, stepdaughter is on maternity leave, so they're able to visit a lot more, which is really nice. So that also has been taking up a lot of my time. So I apologize, I haven't really been as present on YouTube, um, but that's just how it is at the moment. But this is um, something I also really enjoy, so I am going to continue. It probably just won't be as much at the moment because I'm just really into my yoga at the moment. So on that note, um, I don't have a whole lot of um, makeup favorites this month, as you can probably guess, but I do have a lot of neat little items that I still would like to share with you guys. So I'm going to first start with the things that are behind me because I will probably forget. So the first one is a scarf holder. Now I love scarves. I have a million scarves and I um, have always folded them and put them in stacks on my shelf in my closet. But the thinner, smaller ones tend to get scrunched and then you don't even see them anymore because the bigger, fluffier ones kind of take over and then I end up just always grabbing what's on top and never going through my collection and pulling out some of my other scarves. And I have some beautiful scarves. So I was on um, some sort of channel that had um, handy organizing tips and one of them was um, scarves. And it had this nifty scarf holder. I know this looks pretty weird. It's This is what it looks like. It's just these rings with kind of a rattan um, raffia maybe around them, coiled around. And it just looks like a simple, you know, circles. But it's able to hold all my scarves. And then I can see all the colors and patterns. And so I can easily just grab whatever color or style that I'm looking for. And it has a hanger, so it's able to hang in my closet. And it's, you know, it's pretty thick. It's about as, it's thicker than just like a sweater or something. So it does take up quite a bit of room as far as uh, width in my closet, but it's definitely a lot less than stacking them because I mean I've got thick woolly scarves here as well. It was very inexpensive. I got it on Amazon, so I'll link that one below for you guys. I absolutely love it. Another thing that they mentioned is to make sure you get the one that has this raffia kind of textured fabric on it because then your scarves won't slip. Like I've got this silk one here and it would probably slip through if it was just like a metal or something kind of slippery. So I have been loving that and I've been pulling out so many of my scarves that were kind of forgotten that kind of got mixed in the the stack. So I'm really, really enjoying that. I think it was a great little purchase. So I thought I would share that with you guys. The next one, I did put this on Instagram and it is part of my yoga stuff, I guess. When I leave hot yoga, I am freezing because I'm wet and I just come home quickly and shower and get ready and stuff. So I want something warm and cozy. So I bought this sweatshirt from Lululemon 
and you can see on the hood it says Lululemon. I just think it's really, really cute. But what's so unique about it, it's actually sweater material. It's not like fleece or typical sweatshirt type of stuff. So it's just a little bit more dressy, a little bit more sophisticated. It's something I could wear for travel. I could wear it out and you don't look as scruffy or slouchy and um, like a typical sweatshirt. So I've actually worn it not just for yoga, but I wear it around. I wore it out yesterday and I think it's a really, really cute sweater. It's on the sale page. It is currently still there. So I hope um, you, if you're interested and you probably want to check it out pretty soon because when things go on the Lululemon sale page, they usually sell pretty quickly. Um, but as of this morning, it's still on there. And I liked that one so much that I ordered it also in the gray. It's kind of a lavendery gray, but I thought it was really, really pretty. I haven't worn this one yet, but I will. And it has that same detailing on the sleeve that I really, really like. It just makes it a little bit more um, unusual and not just your typical sweatshirt. And again, like I said, it's that nice um, sweatery material fabric. So it's super, super warm and cozy. Um, it would be nice to wear on a flight as well. So now a little tiny bit of beauty stuff. Um, because I haven't been wearing makeup, but I still need something on my lips. So I've either been wearing like a lip gloss or just something. And I pulled out these, I actually got these about, I don't know, maybe two months ago. They're from Dior. I went to Sephora and they were having a D Dior event. And if you bought, um, I think three items and you got a gift with purchase. So of course I had to get it. <laughs> Um, and these uh, little lip balms as well, I'm not allergic to a lot of Dior, uh, those plumping glosses, I'm allergic to them. So I finally found something that I could wear. Now I have used Dior Lip Glow, um, just the solid colors, and I was really, really disappointed in them. I found that I had to keep re reapplying and then they just kept staining and staining my lips because they're intended to kind of leave a little bit of color. And then I actually wore it on a flight and by the end my lips looked like I had been sucking a cherry <laughs> uh, popsicle the entire flight. So I don't really like that look. I know that is a look at the moment, but I'm not into it. But these ones are frosted. So they're, I think, to the max. I'm not quite sure. I'm um, actually just get my magnifying glass. So they are called Dior Addict Lip Glow to the Max and I have the Coral and I have the Rosewood. I'm wearing the Coral right now. They're just like a nice sheer little bit of color so I don't look like I'm overly made up but they hydrate my lips and they've got a bit of a frost to them which I really really like. It's a little unusual um, than the usual kind of um, tinted lip balms that are out. This one is the Rosewood. I think there was about 10 shades. It was a lot to choose from um, and they're all just nice subtle colors if you're not wanting to wear a full makeup if you just want a little bit of lip balm with a little bit of color. Yeah, they're a little on the pricey side but I just found the colors were quite unique um, having that little bit of shimmer through them and I found them very hydrating as opposed to the ones that were just the solid. I think they're just called lip glows. I really wasn't that crazy about them but these ones I really, really like. So I've been really enjoying those and wearing those a lot um, at my yoga classes for my no makeup makeup look. And then this one is an oldie, like very old. And it is from Redken and it is the All Soft Shampoo and Conditioner. Now, Redken, now, I, I mean, I bought this at the drugstore, but I remember back in the day, and when I'm saying back in the day when I was about 15, um, my mom took me for the very first time to a proper hairdresser where I wasn't getting my hair cut in the kitchen by my mom. She took me to a proper hairdresser and they suggested um, hair products and one of them was Redken and I, I was just like, oh my god, I'm getting shampoo from the salon. I wasn't getting that agree. I think that's what I used to use and finesse when I was a kid. So it was so exciting to get this Redken shampoo and conditioner that I got to use. So that was very exciting. So I have very good um, memories of Redken from when I was growing up. So anyway, I just thought, you know, I'm going to try this again because it has avocado oil. I always really, really loved it. It has avocado oil in it, which I really like having oil in my shampoo. As you guys know, I love my Moroccan oil shampoo and conditioner, um, but it's super expensive. So I thought, you know, I'm going to give this one a try again, and I love it. 
I've been using this all month. I usually alternate here and there, but I've been absolutely loving that. I love the smell. It's like a sweet, powdery smell. And like I said, I have very fond memories of Redken from growing up. And um, it's very inexpensive. Like I said, I got this from the drugstore. So I've been really enjoying that, and I highly recommend it. Um, the All Soft one, I, don't, I haven't tried all the other ones. I don't know. The next one is also from Amazon, and I've seen it quite a few times, um, but I just didn't pull the trigger. I didn't really know much about it, and I thought this time, you know, I'm just going to get it. And it's this Aztec Indian Healing Clay Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. And when you get it, it's actually a powder, so you have to mix it yourself. So that was a little unusual for me, and I'm still trying to work out the um, proper measurements to get it right because it's usually too watery or too thick and I'm getting lumps so I should probably go on YouTube and see somebody who knows what they're doing and and read follow their formula but I have been loving it now I love a mud clay mask so if you have dry skin you probably will not enjoy this but if you're oily like me and you like a mud tightening mask that draws out impurities I definitely would say to try this. Um, a lot of the clay masks, like I love the Clodalie one, the detox mask, and it's pretty pricey. And they do, um, the ones in the pots like Glam Glow, which I love, they're very pricey and they dry up. So this one, because it's in a powder format, it's gonna last forever. I mean, this is probably gonna last me a year. And I think it was 12 Canadian dollars, maybe 11. Um, so it's a great price point. I really, really enjoyed it. It doesn't burn. I tried some L'Oreal clay masks and the Body Shop clay masks and it burns as soon as you put it on your skin. This didn't burn at all. I just really, really like it and highly, highly recommend giving it a try and it's an excellent price point. But like I said, you've got to figure out the um, exact ratios and I haven't figured that out yet, but I'll, I'll get it down, I'm sure. Then you have to kind of mix it in a little um, pot and then apply it. But for 12 bucks, I'll do it. The next one is, I got this in a Sephora favorites box and it is the um, Superfoods, it's Youth to the People, Kale, Green Tea, Spinach and Vitamins um, face wash. It's just a clear gel face wash. And I have a ton of samples of face washes here and there. And, you know, they're all pretty nice. There's some that I definitely don't like, but all in all, they're all pretty, pretty nice. But I love this and I loved it so much. I've actually ordered the big full size one. They had a limited edition one um, for Earth Day. And I got that from the Sephora VIB sale. Um, my stuff is slowly trickling in. So I will do a video on my haul when I get it all. I haven't received that yet. But I actually ordered it even though I have a million cleansers on the go, but I just loved it so much. The scent is a little weird at first. It definitely smells like kale or something very, very green, um, but it is a beautiful cleanser. My skin feels so nice and clean and tight afterwards, which I really enjoy because I am oily skinned. So I've been really, really enjoying that. The one thing I don't really care for is that it's in a glass bottle. Um, my bathroom is tiled and then um, sometimes I have a shower at night and taking that into the shower because um, this is my nightly cleanser. So I don't really, I'm always nervous that if it's going to fall in my shower and smash and I've got glass in my shower. So that part I find a little strange that they did glass, but anyway, it is what it is, but I really, really enjoy it. Like I said, I even bought the big uh, full size of it um, because I love it so much, even though I've got tons of cleansers on the go. And then last but not least in the favorites is um, also something I've been taking to hot yoga, but it is also just a product that anybody can use. And it is this Vital Proteins Beauty Collagen. Um, I showed this to you guys, I think on Instagram maybe. Um, it comes in a couple of different flavors. There's a strawberry, I think a lavender, and I bought the melon mint. Now the melon doesn't come through at all. I can only taste mint. Um, but it is so refreshing during my hot yoga rather than just drinking plain water. I put it in my either my Yeti or my Hydro Flask, which keeps your drinks ice, ice cold, even in hot temperatures. So it is so nice and refreshing to sip something ice cold. And that mint is really, really nice and refreshing. And I've been really, really enjoying it. So if you're looking for a nice 
um, refreshing drink throughout the day. This one is really, really nice. Great, great during workouts if you're looking for something better than just plain old water. Um, I did actually do a video, I'll link it below, on all the different types of things that I add to water to make it a little bit more palatable so that you can get um, lots of water intake during the day because I know just drinking on plain water tends to get a little bit boring. So I like to mix it up a little and make it a little bit more tasty. So if you're interested, I'll link that below for you guys and then last but not least I did have two little fails um, one of them I don't have anymore so I took it back already and it was from Christophe Robin it's a hair care um, product I bought it at the Sephora they did an event like a spring launch with some items and I hadn't really heard anything about it because it wasn't even on their web page yet but it was from Christophe Robin which I do enjoy his products are kind of hit and miss for me I have some top favorites and then some things haven't been so great and it was a detangling jelly jelly um, conditioner so I used it um, after using the volumizing paste and my hair it was just so dry and so tangled and just awful and I thought well maybe it was because of the volumizing paste because that is almost like a kind of a baking soda type of shampoo and I thought maybe it had stripped my hair too much and I needed something a little bit more emollient. So I tried it again with another shampoo. I think I may even use the Moroccan oil which tends to be very um, moist and makes my hair really supple. It was just a nightmare. I couldn't even get my wet brush through my hair and that's usually like a hot knife through butter. So that was a huge fail for me. So I did end up returning that. It was very expensive too for a hair product. So that went back. Um, it does have really great reviews. So maybe it's just me. I have color treated hair and my hair is like a sponge and just soaks up any kind of conditioner. So what I like having very, very thick emollient um, oil type of conditioners tend to work best for my hair. So it could have just been my hair type. But anyway, just be careful. If you have a similar hair to me, um, I would avoid that conditioner. And last but not least, um, this was something that was in my Beautylish um, gift bag and it's from Good Molecules and it's the Wake Up Eye Serum and for me I think I just have very sensitive eyes and maybe there's some sort of a scent to it, I, I couldn't tell but maybe the fumes went into my eyes and made them very very sore and I didn't really find any results from it. Anyway I find things that are for um, puffiness tends to make my eyes look worse because it kind of dehydrates them and sucks everything in and makes them look kind of puckered. I want something that's going to hydrate and plump and lift. Um, so that definitely wasn't um, a hit for me so I am not going to be using that anymore especially also because the fumes from the scent or whatever it is would get into my eyes and made them very sore and irritated so that was a, a fail it came in my Beautylish um, lucky bag so it wasn't like it was something that I had ordered and didn't end up liking so that concludes my April um, favorites and I had a couple of little fails um, I know it wasn't a ton of makeup but I did order a little bit of stuff from the Sephora VIB sale and maybe now in May I might um, tone things down a bit and not be going to yoga every day single day but like I said I just have a really hard time doing things half measure anyway and then this afternoon because I always keep everything um, I tell you guys everything I'm doing I'm going for Botox this afternoon I've been really enjoying it I had it done in February I just find it just lifts this eye just a tiny bit if you're new to my channel I'm blind in this eye and it kind of is collapsing so I really enjoy having that and at the same time I'm gonna get him to check out this cyst I've got another cyst I don't know what's going on the rest of my skin is so clear and so nice from my cleanser that I've been using and this mask and from the hot yoga but I somehow ended up with this cyst so I think it could have been um, because my pores were so open and then maybe I put on sunglasses it seems to be right in the spot where glasses would sit so maybe my sunglasses were dirty or um, my reader reading glasses or something like that when I just come out of yoga when my skin my pores were so open I don't know but anyway I'm sick and tired of these stupid cysts I keep getting them even though the rest of my skin is clear it just doesn't make any sense but anyway Anyway, it is what it is, so I'll speak to my dermatologist this afternoon, and I will be seeing you guys very soon when I get all of my Sephora haul, which should be pretty soon. I'm hoping this week I'll get a lot of this stuff in. So thank you so much for joining with me, and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye!